Welcome back to class. Let's go. Out a screen. In this case, I have my screen here. You can see it. It's in multiple uh, screens. So you can get out your screen. And after you get out your screen uh, or pages, right, just like what I've done here, to do this, all you need to do is draw a frame. Right, or use the actual foam frame. For mine, I'm using 375 as the width and 812 as the height. And then you can go into your plugins and use the unsplash. If you don't want to use the unsplash plugin, you can easily get images from pixels. So I will choose this one and you can see what we have here. I think this is really cool. I think I would have to replace it with this one. So to do that, I'm going to show you guys what you can do in this kind of scenario. You can do this in two ways. The first way is to copy this or cut it, Command X or Control X, select the frame you want to replace it with and hit Command or Control and Shift, Control Shift plus Arrow. As you hit Arrow, Control Shift and Arrow, it's going to, it's going to replace it. All right, so it has replaced that item that we had there before. Now, the other way you can do this is by selecting both of these frames. And you're going to see this red circle outline here. Just drag it out and it's going to replace that image. And then you can get rid of this. But the best way I love to do this, especially if I don't want the other content, is to select it, the one I want to replace with another one. I would select it, say for instance, we have this. I would, let me change this to story. And then I would press Ctrl X to cut it or Ctrl C to copy and then come to the new frame and hit Ctrl Shift plus arrow and it will replace that image. With this, we have this. I'm going to just reorder this so that these other uh, images are away from each other. Now we have the three images. The next step is to actually design the um, indicator. So I'm just going to detach the component here. So this is the next step. You need to design this. So to design this is very easy. You can make it slimmer. You can make it bigger. I made my bigger so that people can see it clearly when it's making the movement. But in your design, it doesn't have to be this way. Right? To do this, all you need is a frame. So what I would do first is I would draw a rectangle right I'll draw a rectangle and then that rectangle will become the frame that would be inside that would move the one that creates the motion so I would right click on it and do frame selection very easy frame selection double tap on it and you can call it whatever you want to call it I would call mine stepper all right let's zoom into that and now we have a frame inside of a frame. I mean, we have a rectangle inside of our frame. If you see, if I select this, if I give it a color, you can see that we now have this perfectly. And that's what we're aiming at. Now, all you need to do is round the corners completely. You can just type in 50 and it's going to round the corners completely. And we can now select this guy and move him inside a bit, you know, just slightly a bit inside and then ensure you clip content we're clipping content because of this if i undo that you're going to see that this guy let's make him black so that you can see it all let's give let's just make him black so you can see this guy is not in the right position so we're going to clip content to ensure that everything looks really good then the second step for you would be duplicating it so you just duplicate this in fact we're going to work with this so we duplicate it and then we're going to select that guy again. But before we do that, we need to know this width of our frame. So the width of our frame is 337. I'll just copy it because I don't like typing too much. And then select that guy that is inside. And with that guy selected, go back to width and paste that code there. 337, hit enter. It completely fills up the, the space and we're done with this guy now the next step is to actually put these guys in uh, a component set so we're going to select this guy or these guys uh, depending on the number of images you have you have 
50 but it's not advisable to do so much because this ad what we design is just an illustration of what the developers will do so one example is perfect for them to understand what to do all right just ensure it has all the instances so for this we're going to select all three of them go up here to the components and from the drop down we're going to choose create component set all right and we've done that we're going to prototype this shortly but let's do the same for this guy so we're going to select these guys all right the both of them and then we'll do the same components drop down create component set now we have them in the way we want them to be and then the next step is to actually prototype them so the first things we want to do is select the one at the top go to prototype or you can use the shortcut shift plus e to switch between design and prototype so we'll go to prototype and then from here we'll drag this downwards now we're going to be using smart animates because smart animates and gives your design or your interaction a very smooth transition or a very smooth movement so that's why we're going to be using it so for this guy at the top we're going to change this to after delay it's not going to be on top obviously so after delay we're going to click here here is going to be 800 so 800 millisecond is fine we're going to change it from instant to smart animate and then the ease out which is the action i um, i don't know how to explain this one we're going to change it to linear because we want it to run straight so this linear would also help you if you had the other native style of the story where the stories are partitioned into different layers or different sections you know where you have the first one you have the second one you have the third one so linear would enable you achieve this it's very simple it's the same process all you need to do is actually have their different um, states and that's all you need to do put them in one and it will just fire out all right so with this all we have to do next is change this millisecond over here we're going to change it to 4500 all right so 4500 from 4000 upward is good but this will enable us have something really accurate and because we have three of the images that will be flowing in this particular uh, um, story so we need to calculate this by the number of of um, images we have so that we get something really accurate all right i'm going to explain more as we proceed so put this in 4500 millisecond and linear smart animate 800 millisecond at the top and we can move to the down one so obviously it's going to come back and start again so we're going to in the recent once it gets to the end it that's that's all it ends there but if you want to just continuously show it then you can just drag this guy back to these guys and when you drag him back all you need to do is change him to after delay and because it's going to be instant change that to one millisecond and from smart animate to instant all right we're done with those guys and we can move on to these guys now for these guys it's very simple once you do one the rest are pretty much the same process so from this one we're going to move this over here all right and we're going to change that to obviously after delay and from after delay we're going to for this part we'll leave it at 800 and for for this part we're going to leave it at 2000 actually not 800 so 2000 because we'll be using instant we want it to be instant we don't want it to give that fading effect all right and then the same thing happens here and also returning back so after delay 2000 millisecond and instant and then for this guy as well we we'll bring it back here so it's going to give us the same result after delay 2000 millisecond and instant all right now we're done with everything it's time to replace this guy inside here with one of these. so as usual we're going to copy this ctrl c select the image and what do we do to replace it you guys got it correctly so we're going to type control shift and later arrow arrow for rats rabbits and rating so like this video and share the difference all right so let's do that and we've replaced it you can see we now have that component line the purple line now showing that means that image has been replaced all right so we have that 
and then we have to replace this other uncle here so we're going to do the same thing select this guy ctrl c select him and do what ctrl shift r and that changes as well we've replaced it now if we play it inside of here we're going to see what we've done so let's do that and just see what we have done. 